So today I'm gonna be checking out this game, The Last Flame. This is a new roguelike game that uh, is currently in early access. It's been available for about a week and a half of, uh, on Steam. And it's quite an interesting game. It's, um, it's a combination... It's like Slay the Spire, because it's roguelike, but also it's an auto-battler, uh, which looks quite similar to Teamfight Tactics, which is a, um, a PvP game. But like when you look at the arena and some mechanics in this game, it's, it's very similar. And I like both Slay the Spire and Teamfight Tactics, so I, th I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this game. So yeah, let's um, let's start and check it out. I had a a very short. Um, I already uh, played it for a few minutes just to see how uh, what it's all about. But we're gonna start a new game here. Um, there was also like um, like an earlier version available, which wasn't the full version of the game. It was like a demo or something like that, and I played that for about twenty minutes as well. So. Um, I will have to play the tutorial again here to remind myself what I what I may uh, like ab about the mechanics of this game. So, all right, let's embark. I can't change the difficulty right now. We have to be on novice difficulty. Um, so yeah. Okay, um, so the, tutor the tutorial will explain the basics of the last flame. You can press tab or uh, the book at the bottom right corner to open the guidebook. Okay, right. Heroes, they have hit points, mana, active ability and a passive ability. Okay. Heroes start with a passive, an active ability and unique abilities. Every attack generates one mana. Mana regeneration generates mana passively over time. Heroes cast their active abilities when their mana bar is full. Okay. Um... While hovering over any tooltip, you can press tab or middle mouse click to display its advanced tooltip. Alright. So who uh, we need to pick two heroes. So I'm gonna pick Pyro, I guess. It's gonna be sending flaming meteor. Okay, and then... Maybe like a frontliner. XZ09. He looks quite tanky, he has 50 defense. What's the normal defense? Okay, that's a lot, right. Okay, so he could be my frontliner. Now I have to pick a relic. <clears throat> Discount. In the shop. Elites lose 18% hit points when the fight starts. You can research at the campfire. Research. Wait, what's research? I don't know. Um, after each fight you heal. Okay, so this is the lowest difficulty. I don't think I will need to heal. What's this? Trophies. Used to rank up your heroes. Okay. Let's just take this Tome of Secrets. Act 1, Illusio Forest. Okay. Alright, so this is our... This is the um, classic rogue-like path. This is the boss. So we've got normal encounters. Tar, a slightly harder encounter. Okay, that rewards a bonus reward. Elites, events, campfire where we can heal or restore flame. And we have shop. 
Okay, so... I guess we're gonna start here. Preparation phase, you can drag your heroes to place them on other hexes. The last hero to be dropped from an enemy will redirect the enemy focus to this hero. Okay. You can have up to five heroes on the battlefield. Alright. Right click on a hero or an enemy to open their character panel. Okay, so this guy will be casting Flame Meteor. Oh, and I can use my middle mouse click. So, um, the Flame Meteor. He gains three spell spell power for every stack of burn on the enemy with the most burn. And burn. Every stack deals a several damage equal to amount of burns on the enemy. Other ethereal damage. From abilities and effects is increased by... 1.5% per burn on the enemy. Okay. And spell power increases damage of the heroes, the effect or damage of the hero's active ability. Okay. So he needs spell power. And every third active, he will cast his abil active ability twice. Okay, so he's pretty good. And then we've got this guy. So. He can he goes into super mode, increasing lifesteal and attack speed and taunting. Okay, so he's definitely a tank. When the hero gets uh, or is below 50% max hit points, he gains a shield equal to 15% of his max hit points. Okay, so he is a tank. Okay, good. I should have checked the spider as well. Dark fight deals 130% spell damage. Okay. Alright, we won. <coughs> So we can we'll get some gold and trophies. We'll get another hero. Oh, I like this guy. I really like. I just like how he looks like. So this guy. He performs a sword dance, dealing damage to nearby enemies and inflicts uh, two bleeding. And then deals damage to his target enemy. In addition, he gains shield, equal to his max hit points. When gaining a shield, he gains attack speed. Okay, good. And we can get an item. Let's get this pistol. And the boots. And give both of those items to him. So his max hit points. That's good because he's got this ability, right? Okay, cool. That's a very good... I like this game. I love it. All right. And we've got fight recap here, wh where it shows us damage done as values per second, but we can change it to overall damage as well. Very interesting. And healing as well. Total attacks, total crits, total casts. Oh, we've got damage taken as well. That's important. Okay, cool. Right. Uh, oh, I like this highlight here, that it shows you where you could go, possibly. So it saves on some confusion there, right? Okay, so let's do it like this. So we want them to focus this guy, right? Yeah, another win. James. James can freeze. At Atrios. Jalen. Not very good at pronunciation, so. Okay, so I we already have like a fire hero. And he, he seems to be, he's like a support. Let's take James. So James 
has freezing attacks. Every three attacks, he inflicts one frost. And all critical strikes also inflict frost. He unleashes Fury Frenzy. For six seconds, he gains critical strike chance. In addition, while under Fury Frenzy, he heals. His critical strikes heals himself at the lowest percent and the lowest percent hero for X percent of the damage dealt. Okay, cool. So he's also like a support. But... Okay, we've got more items. We can reroll using our flame. What's shock? A debuff that scales with stuns and fast casting heroes. On cast, heroes have 1.5% chance per shock to stun their current target. Increase the duration of other stuns by 2.5% per shock. Okay. Every 2 seconds, has 60% chance per max mana to gain 1%. These are not good, I'm gonna reroll actually. Well, I, I don't know if they are good or not. They don't sound good at the moment, but they could be OP. Um, and I'm, I just, I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah. Um, okay. Well, let's let's take this ring. So this looks like a recipe. It's not an item, right? So if we give this to the tank guy, he can consume burns and gain max hit points and heal for the same amount, okay. Forging, okay. Forging allows you to choose the attributes of your items. You can open the forging window with F or by clicking on the uh, forge icon at the bottom right corner, okay. So we could forge this. Is, is attack speed important for this guy? No. I don't think it is. Where is this bonus coming from anyway? Oh no, sorry, he gains lifesteal and, and attack speed from his... when he's in super mode. Okay, so maybe attack speed is not bad for him. So I, I could I could forge this and give him this boots with max hit points and attack speed. Well, whatever. I mean, why not? Wait, where is he? How how do I close this? Oh yeah, there we go. Right, you 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 have this now. We proceed. Debuffs. Okay. Active and passive abilities and effects can apply debuffs. Yeah. Debuffs are displayed above the enemy health bar. Debuffs are unique as they all synergize with specific damage types or stuns rather than dealing damage or having effects on their own. Okay. So bleed scales with attack damage. Frost scales with spell damage. Burn scales with attack speed and ethereal damage. Shock scales with stuns and fast casting, okay. Bleed. Every attack, heroes have 25% chance to increase the damage of the attack by 1.5% per bleed. Frost. Critical strikes guarantee this effect. Spell damage is increased by 2.5% per frost on the enemy. Every attack... Burn. Every attack deals eternal damage equal to the amount of burns on the enemy. Okay, maybe I don't want to remove burns then. Because it's like... It's percentage damage here. A shock, okay. Uh, we already... Kinda, we read that already. Uh, okay. So we need to make sure they... I'll focus this guy. You can take this one. Yeah, go. Okay. 
Okay, we're gonna be recruiting our final hero now. So... So every second attack he inflicts burn and frost at random to all enemies. That's pretty good actually. This guy has a pet. I want this guy. Eager? Eager? I don't know. Let's just take this. Attack damage. Spell power and max hit points. Okay. So I'll give attack damage to this guy. Spell power to this guy. Wait, does he need spell power? Wait. Wait. Oh, I can, I can do it like this. So, spell power. Where is spell power? Here. Oh, so they have zero by default. Alright, I want his active ability to hit hard, right? So that's he's, he's good for spell power, I guess. I could use this now, right? I could use this to um, to level up. To give them XP, but I think it's fine now. For now. So this is what? This is a shop. I've got a thousand gold. Maybe I should go to the shop. But I want to fight... I'm gonna go here. Items and rank, okay. Oh yeah, okay, so trophy mode. You can give heroes a, uh, a hero a trophy. Okay. Ranks 2 and 4 grant a new random passive. All other ranks grant an attribute increase. Okay. And then equipping items, yeah. Yeah, if I press shift, I can... Uh, will, uh, pressing shift will display the hero's items above their health bar. Okay. Holding control while dragging an item will select all items. Alright, okay, cool. Uh, so I, I could level up. I just don't... I just want to know how... Oh yeah, there we go. So let's try and level, level up. Um, level up. Let's say this guy. So he's level 2 now and I can pick another passive, right? Anytime if the hero has at least 200 shield. Okay, he doesn't have any abilities for shield. Brawless Rage. Okay, well, will he ever be below 50% hit points? He's like, he's not a frontliner. What's Magic Steel? Heals for a power. Okay, well, I'm just gonna take this. Brawler's Rage. It's not very good. Unless I start giving him items with shield. Uh, can't be bothered to do that right now. Alright, maybe I should level up somebody else. Maybe this guy. Wait, I need to go. Okay, so when he gets below 50% match hit points, they inflict 8 bleed to all enemies, cooldown 7 seconds, the first time each fight that this effect triggers, the hero also gains full mana, okay. 5% critical strike damage per bleed on the enemy, stacks 20 times, every critical strike the hero heals for 3, wait. Yeah, this is good. 5% critical strike damage per bleed on the enemy. Okay, this is good. Right, so... So... Oh, I get... Oh, I forgot to exit the, um... The trophy mode, but that's fine. Attack. Oh, okay, bad positioning there. Bad positioning there. So they lose aggro pretty fast then, right? They're attacked by somebody else. Oh yeah, okay. 
good to know. The weir's attacks have a 50% chance to inflict one shock. Okay, this is good. So I can force this item now. So maybe I give it to him, right? It's pretty good. Attack speed, crit chance, and now he can inflict shock. Alright, cool. He's hitting pretty hard. Alright, let's try this elite now. Heroes do, do not die permanently. They revive after each fight. Hero deaths make you lose flame. Okay. If you lose a fight, your run is not lost, but you get less rewards and no bonus rewards. For instance, an elite fight that usually rewards an extra hero and relic won't be granting these on a lost fight. Bosses make you lose increasing flame for each subsequent subsequent death. 7, 14, minus 21, minus 20, minus 35. You lose the run if you get defeated by a boss. Okay. Enemies get stronger from ranks and power level. Enemies will have higher rank as you progress through the run. The rank is shown as a numerical value on the health bar. Power levels go from 0 to 4. Ranks and power level increase the enemy's hit points, attack damage, spell, okay. And they are more resistant. There is also Enrage Timer. You can learn more about Enrage Timers and Hero Deaths by hovering the fight info icon in the bottom right corner. Where is it? Bottom right. Here, okay, and rage timer 20. Okay, lost per death, six flames lost per death. Okay, so uh, why don't we do this? Wait, what was your role again? I can't remember. We kill this one first, and then we focus on these two. That should work, right? What if he yeah, what if he kills my guy? Maybe I do it like this. He's only level one though. This should be fine. Okay, one down, easy. There you can see the stacks here. On them. Maybe I should have checked their abilities before. Okay, so one of them died, so that's not good. That means I lost some flame, right? Interesting. Alright, let's take this. I won't be forge I won't be forging that now. Although wait. What did it say? Every time the wearer gets a shield, max mana is increased by one and the wearer gains 30% shield re received. So you you get the shield. Yeah, okay, that, that's a good combination then. Forge that. Give it to you. Okay. Oh, and a relic. Hextile buffs are obtained by the hero that is on the hextile at the start of the fight. Hextile buffs change position at the random 
at random between fights. Okay, interesting. So 20% attack speed. All heroes gain 15% magic steal. The hero with the highest max hit points gains 60, 100, 650 hit points and gets healed for the same amount. The hero with the highest max mana ga gains 4 spell power plus 4 spell power per max mana. I like this. We'll s although that may fuck up our positioning. Maybe that wasn't a good choice. This guy is doing a lot of healing actually. It's from s the, those. eating those burns, I guess. Right, I need I need a shop now, so I'm gonna do this and then this here and shop, right? Or I could do this. Let's go to a to campfire though, see what's there. So here we've got origin. Origins are global and permanent team buffs or effects. Picking a, and swapping origins is free. Okay. Every four critical strikes deal dealt by the team, all heroes gain uh, one mana re uh, regeneration. The hero with the highest max hit points has an aura dealing spell damage equal to 40% of the team's bonus max hit points. For every critical strike dealt, all heroes gain three spell power. All heroes gain ethereal amplification. Increases the effectiveness of ethereal damage. And equal to 40% of the team's spell power. All heroes gain critical strike chance equal to the team's bonus mana regeneration. Excess critical strike chance becomes 3% critical strike damage, Warmonger. All heroes gain 2% attack damage per max mana on the hero with the highest max mana. Okay, and I have two actions. I don't know, I'm gonna take this. Bonus mana regeneration. Do we have any bonus mana regeneration? Wait, these guys don't even have mana. Oh no, they do. Oh, okay, he's the only one with mana regeneration. They don't have mana regeneration. Wait, what? what? Okay, so so they when the mana is full, they use their ability and they get plus one mana from attacks. Okay, I understand. And this is what so in addition to that, you can also regenerate mana every ten over ten seconds with this mana regeneration. Okay, interesting. All right, so so we don't have. So we would get three crits straight. Uh, that's not very good. Okay, we don't have a lot of heroes doing dealing this damage, this type of damage. As a spell, so spell power. So, okay, so everybody can use spell power, right? Everybody can use spell power. So, for every critical strike dealt, all heroes gain 3% spell power. Sorry, 3 spell power, not 3%. Three, not 3%. Who's, who's got the uh, highest hit points? Him. It's all it's fairly close though, so he doesn't really stand out or anything. Maybe we need items with that increase um, hit points. I'm gonna take this for now. Think about it later. Okay, I can research at the campfire. So research. Choose a relic, it uses two actions. So I can enchant 
Upgrade a rare item into an epic. Lose 15 flame. Rest. Or let's take research. Tome of bleed. Deal 50 damage per bleed to the enemy with the most bleed every 4 seconds. Well, that seems good because we have a lot of bleed, right? Or, or, or this one. All heroes gain 7% chance per attack to stun their target for one second. It's pretty good. But I'm gonna take this. Okay, so that's a relic. Okay. Right. I've, I've got no actions left. Dam damage types. So we've got physical. Increasing by with attack damage. Critical strikes and the bleed. Spell damage, spell power. And fro the frost debuff. And obviously our main ability. Feral damage. Through items and effects, it can be, incre it can be increased by a feral amplification burn debuff. Right, okay. Yeah, okay. So where is the... Uh, uh, here. So this is the amplified... With attack speed, right? Interesting. So if I do this... Oh, I need to... No, I think it's fine. I don't have... I thought I, I need I needed to level up, but I don't, I don't have a lot of trophies actually. Chicken item. Spell power, crit strike damage, attack damage. Take spell power this time. Yeah. So that goes on this guy. He's got a lot of spell power now. So maybe I level up now. Level 2 now. Every attack, the hero gains 2 attack damage. At 15 stacks, the hero also gains 10% life steal. Whatever. Who else? You? Level 2 now. You have no... Mana region, so every four seconds the hero deals spell damage to its target and nearby enemies equal to 12 times mana region. Every critical strike the hero deals additional lateral damage equal to their defense. The target, okay. None of they, they are not, not good. Unless I give him some mana region item, but I don't have any. Right? No. Okay, well... Every critical... Uh, let's just take this. Golem Force. I guess. It's not very good. Uh, extra 30 damage, I guess. He will hit crits often, I, I think. That's he? Wait, that's him. He, yeah, well, he had three crits, right? That's something. That's actually the high, the highest of, from the team in the, in the in the last fight. So okay, now I could go for an event. I I don't need an event. Right, so here I would put this guy here, this guy there. Wait, actually no, this guy here. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, this is good. Maybe it's not good. That should be fine. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Back speed every t attack. The wearer has a 3% chance per shock and bleed on the enemy that has the most of these debuffs to gain shield. That seems good. Let's take this. Swap two passives between your heroes. So, okay, you can do that. That's pretty good. Reroll passive. Okay, or choose one of three heroes to join your party and gain four trophies. I don't feel like I need additional heroes. Could swap some passives here. Could give Golem Force to this guy. But then I would have to. Well, let's see how it works. I'm just curious how it works. I could do this. Okay, all right. It's just it's just one swap. Okay. All right. I mean, it's not it's not that great to be fair, but whatever. Now I need to for forge this. So. Extra spell power, max hit points, and attack speed. So this stacks with spell power, kinda, I think. Maybe not. I'm not really sure if anything here stacks with spell power at all. So maybe I give it to you. I think I understand. So, without that item, he gets um, life steal and attack speed twenty percent. But if I give him that, he gets an extra five percent, twenty percent base plus five percent. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. So we got a hundred damage out of this tom of bleed. Interesting. All right, shop. So we can buy heroes, we can buy recipes, items, So a lot of them actually have negative effects as well. <clears throat> the wearer gains attack damage equal to how far they are from other heroes. 16 attack damage per hex range. That's pretty good. 
by that. Combine it with something like this. I'm down to 400 gold. I'm gonna buy Joanna. So why not? And let's get this. Okay, so max hit points. I'll give it to you. I can forge this with this. could give this to you. We don't need attack damage though. Maybe I give it to you, right? Well, you're, you're... You suck though, but I guess it's fine. What about you? Do you do anything? see in the next fight so he needs to be far away although being melee it's not it's gonna be difficult to achieve so maybe I'm gonna give it to you um, okay right. I can dismantle what's this all right okay I can dismantle for 75 gold interesting cool right, okay uh, Let's just, let's just... Okay, how can I click back? The U UI could use some improvements, like... Whoa. Okay, whatever. Um, yeah, proceed. Alright, so we're gonna be fighting a boss now. Heroes and enemies always target the closest hero with their auto attacks. Uh, however, some spells have specific targeting. For instance... Cast X on the current target, cast X on the furthest enemy, cast X on the lowest... Okay, HP. However, most spells don't have specific targeting, in which case they will use the best targeting. Best targeting will prioritize the highest number of targets within the spell area. Makes sense. If the highest number of targets are the same, the closest group to the caster will be prioritized. Uh-huh. Taking advantage of the best targeting system is crucial to hit as many enemies with your spells. Yeah. If the highest number of targets are the same, the closest group. Yeah. The, uh, yeah. Okay. Short versus long line spell. Right. Okay. Priority. Three targets plus closer. Has more priority than just three targets. Okay. But three targets is better than two targets. Okay. Right. Tutorial complete. Alright, so this is this guy is a boss. Um So we will have to deal with these odds. Can you do this? Maybe you can't. Maybe you need to deal with these odds. You need to be as far away as possible from other heroes, right? Is this good? What do you do? Cast poison breath in a cone and healing. Hydro Rage always targets the lowest HP hero. Okay. I can use this now, by the way, before the fight. That's interesting.
take this, I don't know. Okay, so if that's in a cone, then maybe... Oh shit, I keep forgetting I need to exit this screen. Yes. Oh shit, okay, that was bad actually. That was actually really bad. But we should be fine. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, one dead. That's not great. Okay, the positioning was bad. We're still gonna win, but... We Looks like we're gonna be losing some hit points here. Yeah, okay, that was bad, that was bad. That was bad. Um. Oh, but that restores all my hit points now, so it, it, didn't, it didn't matter. New hero. Debuff, debuff mastery. Debuffs, okay. Mushroom guy. Uh, another guy that can taunt. Let's take the mushroom guy. Pick an item. Ooh, okay. Nice. Captain's necklace. This could be good. Extra ethereal damage. Or I could just reroll. But maybe you should take this, reroll, and then heal yourself. If, is that possible? Maybe I've done it wrong. The next attack deals a terrible damage equal to this. I'm just gonna take this. So mi minus 50 attack attack damage. Um, so we need someone with good attack speed here, right? Like you. I reckon. Maybe I need a better item to use this with. Maybe I'm not gonna do it now. Let's pick a relic. You heal after each fight and get an additional trophy. Whenever a hero dies for the first time you gain, okay. Wait, what does this mean? You fl your flame cannot be reduced below 1 during combat. Losing a fight makes you lose 5 flame. You can't lose the run unless you lose a fight. Okay. What? I don't understand how this works. I'm just gonna take this because it's easy to understand. Right, okay. Um. He's, he's done more damage now. James. He's done a lot of physical damage. 3,814. Okay. Cool. So he he doesn't use spell power then. 
Oh, okay, so spell power increases his crit strike chance. I see. I understand. Okay, that's pretty good. What about you? So for him... He benefits from spell power. So my pyro is... Not doing great actually. Why? Maybe I replace the pyro with um, mushroom. How do I do that? Maybe in the, uh, in the next screen. Right, well, that was um, the first act. I think I'm gonna stop it here. Um, that was just a basic overview of the game. I think it's actually, it's really great. I think... Um, plays very well it is addictive there is a lot of choices that you can make so that was my first um, video of this game I hope you enjoyed it and yeah um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time